The mother of clay killer and child rapist David Renz was in court today to watch her son be sentenced to die in prison for the murder of Lori Bresnahan and the rape of a 10-year-old girl. Afterwards, Kathleen Renz told me that her thoughts are with Lori's family. We continue to pray for healing and restoration for the Bresnahan family and for so many of the others who um, have been affected by this tragedy. And it is my deepest hope that God will fill, fill their hearts with his peace that passes all understanding. David Renz today was asked by the judge if he had anything to say about his crimes. He said nothing. But the judge and Lori Bresnahan's family did speak. CBS 5's Alex Dunbar takes us inside the courtroom. How could this happen? David Renz was emotionless in court as Judge Thomas Miller sentenced him to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Renz pled guilty to murdering Liverpool librarian Lori Bresnahan and raping a 10-year-old girl in March of 2013. Bresnahan's cousin, longtime Syracuse courts reporter Jim O'Hara, read a statement describing the pain and suffering his family had been through since learning of the horrific crime. Thoughts of Lori's loving spirit warm my heart, but the picture of Lori's smile brings tears to my eyes every time I see it. When asked if he had anything to say, Renz declined. Is there anything further that you would like to say? No, Your Honor. Before sending Renz to jail for the rest of his life, Miller told him his despicable behavior had shaken Miller's trust in God. I think people are still struggling to understand or explain the unimaginable horror that you quite obviously have brought to this family. You stole that little girl's innocence and you robbed her. You robbed her of her youth. For three decades, Jim O'Hara covered murder trials and interviewed the families of countless victims. In court this morning, he said he only now realizes the true pain a victim's family feels. This today closed the book on a, on a criminal court proceeding. It doesn't provide one iota of closure for the, the sorrow and the, the grief that we're going through. Um, and I'm not sure that, that that'll ever go away. David Wren signed a waiver. He will not be able to appeal the verdict. The young victim he attacked, identified only as Jane Doe in court paperwork, was also given an order of protection. He'll not be allowed to contact her in any way. For now, reporting from downtown Syracuse, I'm Alex Dunbar. More on this now. The man whose job it was to represent David Renz says he was shaken and rattled by the details of this case. Attorney Ken Moynihan talked about his own children after the sentencing. I have two daughters that are this, right at the same age as this young girl. Um, it made me more vigilant. It made me make sure that my wife is more vigilant. Um, and it made me try to protect my children more. Did you get to know David Renz at all during your dealings with him as his defense attorney? I did get to know David. Um, and I got to interview and learn about a lot of other people who've known David for a long time. Um, and as I got to know him, I understood why anyone I talked to about him were shocked by the activity. This conduct of this day was not what most people thought of David Renz. Was it difficult as an attorney to have this case on your plate? And I don't mean was the work difficult. I mean was the, the overwhelming sense in the community that your client is a monster and did this outrageously horrifying thing. Did, did that play into how you dealt with this case and weigh on you? It did a little bit. Um, more so, I like the judge, my trust in the community was shaken as well. And my job is to separate my feelings about things from my client. Um, but I was, that was counterbalanced by my desire to follow through and try to make sure that David wasn't executed by the federal government. And uh, that, was, that was an important thing, I believe, for our community as well, as a civilized community, that we shouldn't just kill other people. Today we learned David Renz will serve his time at the Clinton Correctional Facility in Dannemora. He'll be housed in a special unit for prisoners who are most at risk of being attacked by the other inmates. 
and special profilers with the FBI will spend time with him trying to learn more about why he did what he did. Looking ahead to CBS 5 at 5.30, the man who was first on the scene that awful night was praised by the judge and Lori Bresnahan's family in court. Bill Craig says the Wrens case should be a major wake-up call. He'll explain that new at 5.30.